the college protest saga gets even better. So, any kid or college kid and professors that are protesting against Israel and for Palestine, or rather, and for Hamas, and by the way, there are Hamas supporters in the crowd, according to this picture that was taken with one kid wearing a Hamas headband. I think he was out in California somewhere. Anyway, so now there's colleges or a college overseas that is willing to have these kids who protested in the pro-Palestinian rallies, they can go to their school for free. So an Iranian college in Iran states that any of these kids who were expelled from school or fired, if you were a teacher, can get free tuition at one of their colleges in Iran. According to a professor at one of the universities in Iran, he states that these are our people. The professor goes on, I, I, I couldn't listen. I, I'm reading the article and I'm, I'm staring at it. Like, could things get any worse or better? Depends on how you look at it. That was just the oddest thing I've ever seen in my life. So this Iranian professor, and I'm pretty sure he got the blessing or the blessings of those universities or maybe his country to have these kids who were expelled go to that school in Iran or university in Iran, a college. And that he goes on to say that these people are fighting a good cause or rather he is, he is happy that they're watching this uprising against Israel. I'm like, what the hell? And, and of course, the whole debt to America chant probably also got their dicks hard over there as well, but still not the point. The point, guys, is now the trend has been set. For all of these kids that hate America, debt to America, fuck Israel, screw the Jews, any of those sayings that they, the last one, I, I made that one up. But anyway, any of those sayings they want you to go to Iran and go to one of their schools because you're their people. So now that that's been set in motion for all of these kids that hate this country, hate, they should absolutely be taking that off of them, right? If they wholeheartedly hate this country, they're disgusted with this country, they're disgusted with their colleges, shouldn't they take that off of them? Now, I'm pretty sure this Iranian school or schools in Iran think that these kids are going to jump on a plane and go to Iran to go to school. And um, this school is going to, I guess, inadvertently call their bluff. Because though the school is being genuine with the offer, or the schools are being genuine with the offers, how many of these kids are going to be like, you know, let's go to Iran, where they're where they going to appreciate us? No. The way of living in Iran is far more worse than it is here. In fact, the shit that they pulled off here, they would never be able to do over there on any scale. For any reason, they wouldn't be able to, to, to protest. Doesn't matter. A lot of those girls that were in the encampments, go to Iran and see how far that, that lasts, how long it lasts, rather, sorry. If you're gay, if, you're, if you are pretending to be the opposite sex, again, go to Iran and let me know how long it'll last for you, because it won't. As soon as you step off the fucking plane with your gayness, they're gonna be like the gay fucking detection of the team is gonna go off, they're gonna come after you, and they're gonna hang you or throw you off the building. Again, this is in Iran. The amount of people that were opening their mouths and saying how much they hated this country, now they have a choice. I can all but guarantee not many are gonna take that offer. They're really not. Especially any of the Muslim women who left those countries to come here. They're not going to go back there. I just couldn't believe what I was reading. I mean, I had a hard time understanding what I was reading. I'm like, am I reading this right? Is this, this school really offering these kids a free tuition for protesting like idiots because they were glad to see them uprising against America? And that's why offering a tuition... I Holy shit, and how do you... I don't even know where to go with this. I'm just, I'm so baffled by the offer itself. And then more, not more baffled, but then I'm standing there going, none of these kids are going to take that offer. 
at least a kid who knows about Iran or that culture, they're not taking that off. They're not going over there. No way. I go over there and I shake my fist at one thing. They're throwing me in the clink. Done. And they're going to throw away the key. And I'm not going to see any kind of justice in any form over there in Iran. At least over here, you get locked up. They give you some food. They, they give you a date to come back to court. And then you come back to court. And then you're free the next day. All of those protesters who were locked up were undoubtedly freed within the next 24 to 48 hours. They were out. Go to Iran and see how long it takes you to get off some bullshit like that. It ain't going to work out the way you think. People are fighting for a country that has very strict rules, that are very cruel to their own people, let alone women. Forget about the gay community. They don't want to hear that shit. You so much as batting the eyelash the wrong way or listen to Barbara Streisand or Liza Minnelli out loud, you're done. Especially if you're a dude. If, you, if you're a guy and you say, my favorite movie is Mean Girls over there, they're throwing you off a roof. A lot of these kids do not understand how the world actually works. And, and, that's, and it's showing. The, what these kids are protesting for, the demands they're making. Now they have an offer on the table. Let's see how many of those kids take that offer. I don't think many will. But let's see how many kids take the actual offer to go to a school for free in Iran. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Truth Channel.